Welcome back, ready? Another episode of Mobs World, aka Ducake's Vivarium. And, um, I did a little looking off camera and was disappointed to discover I do not have any penguin eggs. Which is sad because I was gonna put some penguins out. Ooh. That's right, these didn't have glass in them. I do recall, I actually I went and got glass to do all of this. And then I enlarged the garden because I found all those other foods. It's all coming back to me. There we go. That's what I was working on. Um, but I think because, you know, you can't have a good zoo without penguins. We are going to put in a penguin cage. Unfortunately, I don't have the penguins yet. So you'll have to bear with me, but we're going to put penguins in here. And will have a little pool that they can go swimming in, because penguins love swimming. And they'll have some nice... Ah, I keep putting this in the wrong spot. They'll have some nice ice that they can, uh, you know, keep cool on. And I got a little bit of snow here, so I'm going to put some snow out. That's all the snow I have. Sorry, penguins. I'll have to keep my eyes open for that. There's also snow bricks, but I don't have any of those. Or, uh, not snow bricks, but snow blocks. But again, I don't have any of those, so... No, I did have water, but it looks like I have used all of that, so I'll just have to... run to the nearest water source, which... it's kinda... kinda ruthless to do this, but this is the easiest way bash a hole in the glass and fill both buckets from there. Oh, hey. I'll take that raw meat. Sure, why not? And then make sure I patch this because I had uh, I had some animals that snuck in through the opening before when I was doing some work here off camera. And let's make an infinite water source, which I've done in previous videos. You just put two nodes apart from each other. And this will actually make a uh, a nice infinite water source to use for other times too. Because any spot I take will refill itself. So I'll always be able to have buckets of water on me. Nice, nice. Okay, and let's take a look in this cage. I just bet there is no glass separating this. There's a bat. Too bad I don't have anything to feed him. To catch him. I don't even know what bats eat. Alright. Um, yeah, I should close that. Otherwise, uh, people can actually fall in and then get into the restricted access, employees only area. Had somebody who did that before, and then they wouldn't leave. And yeah, which is a pain in the butt. I think he actually ended up stealing some stuff, too. Which I was not too happy about. I did not realize that my friend Norm here was not actually blocked in on the sides. I'm surprised he didn't jump through this window and at least change which cage he was in. Not that this cage is any better than the one he's in, mind you, but as the old saying goes, the grass is always greener on the other side. And even for a Norm, whatever a norm is, uh, I think they probably would say the same. That the grass is greener on the other side. Like even this reindeer out here. He thinks the grass is greener on the other side and he's in freedom. And he wants to go into captivity because he thinks the grass is greener in captivity. Why would the grass be greener in captivity, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's see, for starters, free food. Uh, you're relatively safe. I mean, it's very unlikely that we, as the zoo, are going to kill you as an animal. Because that pretty much uh, gets rid of any of our profits. Because no one wants to go to a zoo if there's no animals in it. Um, and yeah, you don't really have to worry about predators too much because they can't get in for the most part. Uh, again, that's kind of important to us as zookeepers because if 
predators can get in and eat the animals. Well, no, there's no reason people come visiting. Um. Yeah. So. I need more sand. Which actually out front there's a bunch of sand. Oh, and these windows will have to get closed up too. Whew, that's a lot of window closing. I am. Oh, what do penguins eat though? Because there's like. A ton of ice out here and uh, some monsters and I know I seen penguins because I remember mentioning that I was the one who made the penguin model so I know they're here oh what do I use for that shovel nice I'm gonna grab some more snow while I'm out here so maybe we can stumble upon a penguin I don't know what they spawn on I'm thinking snow but I may have set them to spawn on ice. I honestly do not recall. And just because I set them to spawn on something does not mean that the server changed. Or should, rather should say it doesn't mean the server didn't change what they spawn on. Mm, I'm just seeing ice transition to water. Oh, and one of these fun guys. It throws snowballs at you, but that's it. I, I don't even know what the point of him is doesn't deal any damage Ooh. oh that's dirt though that's useless that just gives me dirt I don't need dirt I do need some of the sand though so I will go ahead and take that thank you 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this sand too sure uh, I'm not too picky as long as it can be turned to glass and that's looking good there. A chicken. You know, I don't think I have any chickens, actually. But at the same... Ooh. What does this guy eat? Uh, turn chat on. Take the sword out. He eats not-so-simple mobs tentacles. I don't have any of those. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to kill you. I know, it's a horrible thing for a zookeeper to do. But, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta do things you don't want to do to, uh, help further the cause, I guess. And that was probably a huge mistake. All of the, uh, what do they call that? When they connect two oceans that weren't connected. I mean, these aren't really oceans, they're more like lakes. But I remember there was uh, a big problem with the... Uh, it'll come to me when they connected Lake Michigan through the... Ah, oh, whatever that thing's called. They put uh, a connection through. They also have it uh, in South America there. There's a connection in a thin point and... Oh, a little tortoise. And the oceans are actually different heights, so they had to build a like a causeway kind of thing that they could use to raise and lower the water levels for the ships to get across, which isn't a big deal. But uh, what was is they introduced animals from one side to the other that weren't previously native to that area, and it kind of harms the ecosystem because, you know, you had fish living there that, you know, they were fine, whatever. They didn't have any, you know, major problems with survival. And then you put this passageway between the waters and suddenly you have fish coming from the other side that these other fish never had to deal with before and they all die because the other fish are eating them and i know that was probably super confusing to keep track of which which fish were which so that five times fast because i was referring to both of them as the other fish but yeah basically uh, the fish all die or you eat it up by other fish. Wow, that was more sand than I thought I harvested. But that's good, because I need a lot of glass. Oh yeah, let me see. I need tentacles. I have ten tentacles. That might... I don't feel like running back out there right now, though. So I won't. What I do feel like doing... I don't really feel like doing this either, but it needs to be done. and No better time to do it than when I'm... Roasting up some sand. This stuff all needs to get transferred to the food area. 
over here. So yeah, basically a lot of running back and forth. And uh, I should probably actually do further breakdown on this. Like do a chest for veggies, a chest for meats, and a chest for fruits. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And I do have, I believe, in one of these backpacks, a chest. I do, but it's not a locked chest. So I'll want to remedy that. Of course, I don't have any metal on me, so... Oh, I did not want to eat poisonous meat. That was a boo-boo. Mm, I think I've got some iron sitting in the iron chest. Or the ore chest, I should say. I don't think I can use tin. I have to cook up one piece of iron there. And... whoops. No, I want the food one. There we go. I also just grab all these carrots. And yeah. I do have... Oh, but I don't have anything to burn. Ooh, that's a problem. I've got a furnace here, but nothing to burn in it. I don't think I have anything to burn in it. No, not really. Are bones flammable? I feel like no. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, let's take a look in these backpacks. I may have something in one of these. Wasp nests? I don't know. It might be flammable. Five giant sequoia planks? That I know is. Let's try the wasp nest first. Nopers. And actually, I wanted to cook that metal. And then once the metal's done, now let's go ahead and cook that, because why not? Okay, let's make this happen. Locked chest. Wait, where did he... There we go. And let's go ahead and place that right there. And this will be for the meats. So let's pull out that and that and these and these. And go ahead and... I'll just throw everything in there. The raw meat should really all get cooked. You know, because... It probably doesn't store too good when it's raw. And I would imagine it stores quite a bit better when it's cooked. But this is not a hyper-realistic game. So I'm not too worried about that. And let's see. I've got a bunch more goodies that are not all going to fit. This is a lot of running back and forth. I'm definitely getting my workout in today. I say that as I sit here on a chair in front of a computer, uh, working out my fingers, I guess, by clicking and hitting WSAD. And uh, occasionally escape and shift. Definitely getting my workout in. But in seriousness, though, I do actually work out. I don't, oh no, I did not want to eat that. I wanted to pick this up. Uh, let's try this. Yes. And let's grab that. Um, I might just leave that section of the wall open, I guess. I don't know what I would put there. I do dislike that this is so dark. Oh, I need some more thin lights up there. That's why. Let's make that happen real quick. Let's put the sign here. Okay, so we'll put a chest there, put a sign there. Uh, I honestly do not know what my light layout was, so that's another trek across the way. There and there. And I think I did different on others. I don't know. I'm just going to do something that works. Because it's too dark, I can be fixed later. Put one there, one there. I'm just going to put one there and... That's good enough for me for right now. Okay, let's figure out these chests. So we have meats in the center, which seems simple enough. Um, we'll do fruits. Are carrots fruits? No, they're veggies. Okay, so I'll put veggies here. I don't know where I'm going to put the grains. Man, I've got a lot of carrots. Uh, 
corn, that's technically a grain. Strawberries are actually an herb, but whatever, we'll leave them here. We'll say onions are veggies, carrots are veggies. The grains, I guess these nuts, I don't really know on those. Honey is not really a fruit. Tomato actually is a fruit. Potato. Ah, uh, potatoes are tubers. I think they may actually be related to peanuts, maybe? Don't quote me on that. But they might be. Eventually, I might do another chest and do grains in it. I don't know. And then there's this life energy thing. I'm going to throw that with the meats, I guess. All right, so let's label this up. We'll do veggies, meat, and then um, fruits right there. Veggies to the left, meat below, fruits to the right. That uh, works for me. I just wish these chests auto-sorted because that would keep things way neater looking. Alas, however, that is not the case. And there are no chests that do... Let me just double check. I don't think there are, but it wouldn't hurt to look. There's cobble chest. Okay, that's weird. Protected chest. Interesting. So if you use copper, it makes it protected. If you use steel, it makes it locked. Or gold. Or I guess... Wait. So if you put copper on the left, you get locked. But on the right, you get protected. Most, most interesting. Very, very interesting, actually. Alright, well that is going to wrap this episode up, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week. Same time, same channel. I have no idea what we'll be doing, but it's bound to be fun. And you won't want to miss it.